Hi everyone, thanks for joining in. This video will show you how to set up an amalgam tray. As an assistant, it's our responsibility to set these trays up in order of use. So we need to know the sequence in which the doctor will use these instruments. And we have to make sure we get everything they would need on the tray. For this demonstration, I don't have every single thing on the tray. Things that are missing are the anesthetic items as well as isolation items, cotton rolls, dry angles, isolates, things like that. So we're concentrating more on the instrumentation. From left to right is the order in which the instruments are used. For my students, I scramble up the instruments. They have to get these in the proper order. So I'll just scramble up the first nine items. The rest on the tray are accessory items, and these can be in any order on the tray. In order from left to right, mirror for indirect vision, retraction, and illumination. Then we have the explorer to explore for irregularities to examine the teeth. Then the cotton pliers to pick up and remove small objects from the mouth. That's our basic setup. They always go first. Then we place our hand cutting instruments. Most doctors today use burrs, hand pieces and burrs, but they'll always have a spoon excavator. So spoon excavator goes next on the tray. Then we have our restorative instruments. So next we have the amalgam carrier. The amalgam carrier carries the amalgam to the preparation. We're responsible for filling this with amalgam and passing it to the doctor. Once the material is in the preparation, the doctor needs the condenser to pack or condense the amalgam into the preparation. And during the procedure, it's back and forth, carrier, condenser, carrier, condenser, until the filling is in place. And the doctor overfills the preparation. Next comes the carvers. We have a cleoid discoid carver here, discoid end, cleoid end. Technically, this is a tanner's, but we're going to call it cleoid discoid. That carves the occlusal surface of the amalgam. Second carver is an interproximal carver. This is a Hollenbeck carver. Carves the interproximal surfaces of the amalgam when you're dealing with a mesial or distal. After the filling is carved, the doctor has carved the anatomy back into the material, they need to polish it. And we have a burnisher here. We have a football ball burnisher and the burnisher will polish and smooth the material. The accessory items we need an articulating paper forceps and articulating paper to check the occlusion, checking for any high spots. A dical placing instrument and this was a combination dical instrument and spatula to mix any liners or bases that you may need. We also have a cement spatula, technically not necessary since I have a spatula with my dical instrument. Up here on the tray, I have universal matrix retainer, universal band, and wedges. You would only need to set this out if your amalgam filling involves a proximal surface. We would know that ahead of time based on the patient's chart and we could actually set that up based on the patient's treatment plan. Floss we place on the tray. We always keep a floss dispenser in the room anyways, but the purpose of floss is to check the contact areas. It can also be used to ligate small objects. 
the amalgam well right here. This is where we place the mixed amalgam. Once we triturate the amalgam, it gets placed in this well. And then what we do is we will scoop the amalgam up into the carrier using the well. Not all offices use an amalgam well. Some use squeeze cloths. So they'll place the mixed amalgam onto a squeeze cloth and then just press the carrier into the squeeze cloth. And this here is an amalgam capsule. So this goes into the triturator to get mixed. We load it into the carrier and it gets passed to the dentist. So this is a basic amalgam setup. Examination instruments, hand cutting instrument, restorative instruments, and then accessories are along the perimeter here. For my students, you'll have to get these in order and you'll get a, a short quiz. I'll pick up three items, could be anything on the tray, and you'll have to tell me the use of the item.